Hi, I'm Mari, or Taco Salad, and I hiked the Pacific Crest Trail in 2019, and today I'm going to talk to you about all the clothes that I wore. <laughs> and then I'll do a separate video about all the footwear and socks and mittens and gloves and all that. If you're watching my vlogs and you don't want any spoilers about if I finish or what, then you might not want to watch this. Watch this later when the vlogs are done. Just a heads up. And I'll link everything below so you can check out the stuff. First, I'll show you what I wore every single day. And then I'll talk about the add-ons and things that I changed and got for when it got colder and rainier and snowier. <laughs> First layer up. <laughs> I wore a Patagonia Barely There sports bra. I really liked it. No problems. Nothing really to report on it. It did its job. Um, and it held up really well. I wore it every day for five and a half months and it's like perfectly good. No signs of wear. It looks like brand new. Well, it doesn't look brand new, but like it looks pretty good. So I really liked that. This is the hiking shirt I wore. It is the brand Columbia. It has little chairs on it. I really liked having my arms covered because just when it was so hot, I just felt like it was one less thing I had to worry about, like my arms getting burnt. Um, it has kind of like some air vents in the back. I don't know how well those worked or not because I was wearing a backpack always. It has like one pocket and I honestly never used that. I liked that it was lighter colored so that um, it didn't get as hot. Overall, I mean, I think it worked really well. I wore it pretty much every day. It still held up pretty well. I will say, well, I mean, it smells okay now because it's clean, but I felt like even after washing it, it would just be pretty smelly while I was on trail. So I felt pretty grimy in it. But you know, everyone else is in the same boat, so it's really not that big a deal. For shorts, I wore these Under Armour fly knit shorts. I like that they have pockets. The pockets are pretty big. Um, I didn't use them too much actually except for sometimes when my hands were cold they came in handy. Yeah, I mean I don't know, they're just kind of basic running shorts. These didn't hold up as well, like they did get a hole. I just feel like they've gotten kind of see-through and like worn down. But while I was out there like they were fine, they did the purpose of the job of being shorts. <laughs> the other thing that I had the entire time was this buff. Um, and I wore it around my neck, and to be honest, sometimes I don't even know why I wore it, <laughs> but I just did. I mean, I guess it helps with, like, sweat, um, and then if it was really cold, I could put it above my face. And then a hat. This hat is made by Azkeller, and I have my logo on it, because that's how much of a dork I am. <laughs> it's really dirty, and it kind of smells. I wore this pretty much every day with that outfit, and that's that was the basis of the outfit. The other things I have with me the entire time, I always had this rain jacket. It is a marmot and it's really lightweight. This one's only like five something ounces. A lot of people try to say, oh, you don't need a rain jacket for the desert. But 2019, it did rain a good amount in the desert. So this came in handy. Um, I did also have a pair of rain pants with me the whole time and those by the end were just pretty destroyed. So I didn't keep those, I don't have them now. Um, they were from Torpedo 7, which is a company in New Zealand. I carried those the entire time and I did use them a fair amount. I would recommend having a layer like this. I use this also if it was just windy. Um, this jacket does have little like armpit vents, so it would get kind of hot, but not too bad. This jacket got really dirty. <laughs> the dirt does not come off now, but it did the job. The whole time I also had this Patagonia Micro Puff hoodie. I liked it a lot. No complaints. I mean, it's not like the absolute warmest jacket out there, but it is really lightweight and the scrunch is down really small. And I like that it has zippered pockets and it was just good for layering. I could wear it over stuff and underneath stuff and just good to have extra layer and I could sleep in it as well. It's not down, which I thought was nice because I could just wash it in a washing machine and I didn't have to worry about like being really fragile and delicate with it. So. I liked that. For sleep clothes, I use Patagonia Capeline Air. The top is a hoodie. It's like this little hood. I really liked the hood part on this. That's probably one of my favorite parts about it is that um, it's like this hood and then it comes up high so it could be like over my nose. And when I was sleeping, I wore this over my head a lot and it just felt really nice. It was really cozy. Sometimes it was too warm. In Northern California, it was got pretty hot. 
at night, but usually it was perfect and sometimes it got too cold and I wore all my layers to sleep, but usually it was fine with this. And then I had the matching pants. These are the Capelline Air pants and it's kind of like a sweatery kind of waffle-y material. Um, and they're just like really nice stretchy and like I didn't feel too constricted in them when I was sleeping. Um, I thought they were really nice and they're pretty lightweight and just kind of cozy feeling and after a long day of hiking and you put them on, it's really quite nice. So I liked those. The underwear I wore, I used Icebreaker Merino underwear and seemed good. I carried three pairs I think and then you try to kind of wash them as you go along but it's very difficult. Yeah, I don't miss being dirty all the time, but you get really used to it pretty quickly, which is a thing. Um, and everyone else out there is just as dirty as you, so you can't really smell yourself or other hikers, but you can smell the day hikers really well. Like the day hikers smell so good. <laughs> like they would walk by and it'd be like, ooh, it smells like laundry. <laughs> it's very odd, but you'll see. Another thing that I had the whole entire time was this beanie. A beanie is just such a good extra layer if you're cold. Um, really easy to put on and then switch out between this and the other hat I had so no regrets having this all the time It was it did come in handy moving on to stuff that I got along the way from Hiker Heaven in Agua Dulce I went to an REI and I picked up this merino top I thought this would be good for if I needed an extra layer if it was really cold um, or maybe if I wanted to like switch to wearing a short sleeve shirt or I guess what it ended up being was a shirt that I wore in towns. <laughs> I only wore it a few times when I was actually hiking, like layered with all my stuff because it was so cold. But it was kind of nice just having an extra layer and something that I knew was always dry and cleanish and warmer. <laughs> I thought that I would be a lot colder more often in the Sierra, which is why I got this extra layer, but it didn't end up being as cold as I thought, which is why I don't think I needed it as much. So I didn't carry this for the whole time, but um, it did come in handy sometimes. In Kennedy Meadows South, before going into the Sierra, I got a few more layers. I got these like athletic leggings from Two Foot Adventures. They were only $25. So I got these because since I usually wear shorts to hike in and I knew I was gonna be walking in a lot of snow, I just wanted something that wasn't shorts that I could walk easily in that if I fell in the snow or I wanted to glissade, um, my legs would be covered and I wouldn't get like my legs cut up from snow. And I ended up wearing these a lot in the Sierra if we had any kind of early mornings over passes and um, I knew it was gonna be really snowy. They worked really well. I got rid of them in Northern California and then I got them again for Washington when it was cold <laughs> again. And the thing people have been asking about most is this micro fleece hoodie. <laughs> this is from the company Melanzana. They are based out of Leadville, Colorado and you can only buy their stuff in their store. So how I got this was a girl that I was hiking with on trail, her friend went to the store and there were like four of us girls. Um, who we all wanted them so he picked them all up for us <laughs> and then shipped them to us to get at Kennedy Meadows before the Sierra. It was perfect for the Sierra as an extra layer. It was good for hiking and at night if I needed something else to be warm while I was sleeping. It's very cozy. Yeah, I really liked it and then I got rid of it because I didn't want to carry it anymore until Washington. I think I got it back. Another thing I got later on was when I got to Stevens Pass in Washington. This is pretty late on, but it was pretty miserable and cold for most of Washington. It was just very rainy, very wet, and it was only getting colder with snow in the forecast. So, so I had my mom send me this. It's a smart wool hooded long sleeve shirt and it's like thicker material. It's merino. Merino is perfect for hiking because it uh, keeps in your heat or cools you. It also will keep you warm even if it is wet. So in Washington I wore this sometimes instead of my um, long sleeve usual hiking shirt just because this was more practical for being wet all day. And then another layer I got for Washington because of all the excessive rain was 
Dun, 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 dun. This sweet poncho. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got this from REI in Portland and it actually came in so handy. It was so good. This one is made specifically to wear over a backpack. So I wore this and it covered my whole body and my backpack and it was like just I really enjoyed it for Washington when it was raining all the time. Um, <laughs> that's just a little spoiler, but you might see or not see in the vlogs of the head. I think I didn't film that much because it was always rainy, but anyway. So that is all the clothing that I wore and acquired over time and changed out. Hope that was helpful, at least a little bit maybe to you. <laughs> I will be doing another video about my shoes and socks and mittens and all of that. Alright, thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more videos from me. I have a lot more vlogs coming out. Thanks so much. Happy hiking!